Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you a food that has changed my reef tank feeding routine. All right, thank you for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reefs. And this should be an interesting episode because it's not something that I ever plan on doing a video on. A couple of months ago, I saw these on a shelf at a local fish shop, some new food products. Well, I'm assuming they're new from Sarah Marine. I grabbed them and to be honest, I kind of forgot I had them. They've been sitting in my fish cupboard now for a couple of months. A couple of weeks ago, I thought I'd give them a try. And um, I gotta say, they have changed my fish feeding routine from here on out. And let me explain why. These foods in particular, both of these ones from Sarah, are both grazer type foods. Now, that means that it's not a pallet, it's not a flake, it's a sort of big chunk, it's a tablet, if you will, that you put in and your fish nibble away at. Now, traditionally, when we use grazers, well, ones I've been using anyway, normally come in the form of like a donut or something like this, and then you grab something like either a uh, little suction cup to uh, put the grazer on, you put the donut on there, it sort of just fits over it. You put the little locking tab on and then you stick that on your glass. And the benefit of sticking that on the glass is that it brings some shy fish out, gets them a little bit more comfortable feeding around the front of the tank. And it also gives you the ability to then monitor the fish and see how much food they're getting. Plus it allows you to target some areas. So if you've got a fish that doesn't leave a cave or something very much, you can then put this right near the glass, right near that cave and it will encourage them to come out for food. Or if you've got a couple of aggressive fish, you can put two of these in at once at opposite ends of the tank and hopefully you can get them going to each end and they're both going to get fed. The whole concept of a grazer works an absolute treat. The downside with these little donut ones I find particularly when you've got some big aggressive fish is they tend to take a couple of chunks out of it, the donut split and falls off and then it goes down onto the sand and personally I find my fish show considerably less interest in the food when it's hit the bottom of the tank and it just kind of floats away and turns into nitrate and phosphate. Now you can also get magnetic ones, but the problem still remains the same. It does allow you to move it around a little bit easier, which is a bonus if you're getting your arm right down to the base of your tank if you're trying to put it in front of a tank or in front of a cave. But the donut style still has that inherent or the disadvantage where it um, falls off rather quickly. Now, in my limited experience over the last couple of weeks with these uh, stick-on tablets from Sarah Marine is that they stick on incredibly well. And I'm gonna take you over to my tank very shortly. We'll go through it and we'll stick a couple in there and I'll show you how long they last, but also how positively my fish respond to them. But first things first, let's take the lid off these and I'll show you what these tablets look like and I'll tell you a little bit about the makeup of them and introduce you into a little giveaway I've got for my Australian viewers. All right, just before I show you these tabs in the tank, I'll just sort of give you a bit of a close up. You can see here the veggie food. This is the one that actually brought me over to the shelf to check out the range because I've been looking for a uh, basically a vegetable based grazer for my large tangs that I discussed about. Both mainly my uh, Atlantic blue tang and uh, my blonde lipstick do love to tear things like nori apart really quick where this should give them a little bit longer to eat it and also give the other fish an opportunity to eat it. Now, I went for the extra large size because of those fish and I just wanna get some uh, comparisons of size in there. Let me bring in a Australian coin. You can see the large ones or the extra large ones are about the diameter of a $1 Australian coin and maybe about one and a half times the thickness. Now, on the other hand, I've got the treat tabs here, which is not the vegetable based one, but the protein based one. I've got them in the standard size and you can see they're a fair bit smaller. In fact, if I put a $2 coin there, you can see they're probably only about half the diameter of a $2 coin and maybe fractionally thicker. But uh, the advantage of these is I've got big tangs, which are gonna go for the uh, vegetable based one. And I've got smaller fish that are gonna go for the protein based one. Well, that was my theory anyway. You'll see in a second that they go for both of them. All of my fish go for both of them, but uh, the idea was get the big ones or the big fish onto the big tabs and the rest of the fish onto the uh, small tabs. But it's probably time to set a couple of these into the tank and you can see for yourself how the fish respond. All right, just put these in your tank. You simply press them against the glass for 10 seconds and then get your hand out of the way. You can see how every single fish in my tank is going for both of the uh, tabs here, both the uh, veggie and the protein based one. They are absolutely decimating them. I've got it in time-lapse mode there, but uh, we'll switch over to my DSLR here so you can have a closer look at them and nibbling away at it. You can see uh, the two big fish I spoke about before, my blonde lipstick and uh, the Atlantic blue tang are uh, absolutely front and center when these are in here. But uh, the smaller guys like the Australian stripey, my uh, gem tang, uh, even the Anthea's chromis, you can see my filefish there, which filefish generally are a little bit more of a uh, difficult to get feeding fish. 
Not so much here, look at him. He's pushing the Atlantic blue out of the way to get to some of this tab here. And you can see all of the other fish, like the Chromus, the Antheas, hover about looking for uh, bits and pieces to come off. Some of the uh, Chromus will jump up and rip onto it. Even uh, some other fish there, like my little clownfish are uh, out and about. They know there's a, a feeding frenzy and um, I have actually seen them go up to the tab and nip directly at it as well, particularly when it gets to the uh, little bit less left on the, uh, on the tablet there. You can see from the side here just how much of the uh, depth is left on the uh, tablets. You can also see how it would work if you spread these two tablets out. If you're trying to uh, separate some aggressive fish from some new fish perhaps to the tank, or you could do like I did when I put some new fish in this tank recently. You could put one of these tabs right up one end of the tank to get the attention of all of your existing fish, and then release the new fish into your tank at the other end where there are, uh, I guess the coast is clear, but um, you can see it's been a few minutes now and uh, the frenzy has not eased up. These guys are just smashing away at that food. And the most important thing there is you'll see none of it is falling off. It's not like the uh, traditional donut grazers where they uh, have a few big bites and eventually it then breaks off that clip, falls to the bottom and the snails have a feast. Switching back to time lapse here because uh, we are gonna be going for a while. None of this tablet is falling off. So it's been five minutes now and uh, you can see the fish are still going hard at both of them. Interestingly, the uh, treat tab, the smaller one, some of the bigger fish have ripped into that and have uh, made a decent chunk in it. I'd say uh, maybe a third of it's gone where uh, the veggie tab, which funnily enough is normally the one they go uh, more for, but uh, since today's the day they want to go for the treat tab, the veggie tab still got probably, um, I don't know, eight tenths of it left, it's got a fair bit there. You can see the file fish getting right into it, which um, is normally a fish that's a little bit difficult to get feeding. The uh, purple tang, gem tang, uh, even the antheas and chromas hanging around. The uh, cleaner ass is probably more interested in what the other fish are doing. I think um, even down the bottom here, my uh, two flame hawks are hanging around just in case it drops to the bottom, but um, probably not confident enough to go up to that height to feed. They sort of normally hang around a little bit lower in the tank. The Australian stripe is going for it, but um, let's be honest, he'll eat literally anything. Even my little baby clowns in there are getting in amongst the mix, trying to get a piece of the action there. But um, you can just see it's an absolute free for all. My big Atlantic blue, make sure he gets a good feed. Um, and of course the uh, blonde Naso, both of those fish do love a good feed. And the fox face, he probably does lean more towards the veggie one. Um, you see he's gonna go for the uh, treat tab here, but can't let that stop him. And uh, the Antheas, I have seen them directly eat it, but they do tend to just sort of hover around and wait for bits to come off. But um, all in all, it's a fair feeding frenzy. Like I said, we're five plus minutes in of these tabs. They're still on the glass. They're still getting attention from every single fish in the tank. And um, they don't fall off until they're completely eaten, which is exactly what you want. All right, 10 minutes in and uh, the treat tab just has finished. It's got its last little bit, has just been eaten. So now all the fish have moved over to the uh, veggie tab. And uh, you can see it's now taking a decent hit as well, particularly when you get those big lips from the blonde lipstick smashing into it. It's not gonna last on there much longer. I've still got all of the fish in the tank interested, even my uh, fairly cryptic angels hanging about. All the big guys are in there, even the small guys hanging about. You can even see the chromis ripping onto a bit of it there. The uh, clownfish, everyone's hanging about. The only thing I will say is it does sort of cloud up your water a little bit just because you're putting a decent amount of food in the tank. And um, I don't know if it uh, sort of, you can see just when they bite it, it sort of get a little bit of smokiness come off it. But um, to be honest, that clears up within maybe half an hour after the feeding is done. For me, the most important thing is it does not break up and fall off. It stays on there till every single bite of it has been eaten. If they walk, if they swim away from it now, it remains stuck on the tank. It's not gonna fall off, go down onto my sand bed and um, just create nutrients. It stays there till every single bit's been eaten. One more quick time lapse, just because these tablets do last quite a while. Okay, it's been 20 minutes and you can see we are just down to the final little crumbs there in the glass of the uh, veggie treat. The chromis seem pretty happy polishing that off, but uh, absolutely none of it has fallen down here to the base of my tank. Every single speck of it has been eaten by the fish, which is exactly what I want from a grazer. So um, I'd consider that a success. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the use case of the Ceramarine grazers in both the uh, protein-based and the veggie-based tabs in my own dream reef tank. I hope you could see how much my fish enjoyed it, and I hope you could see how much I enjoyed absolutely none of that going to waste. It didn't chip off, break apart, fall to the bottom of the tank, get a horde of snails over it, just creating nitrates and phosphates. 
it stuck on the glass for 20 minutes until every single skerrick of it was eaten by the fish. Now, I must say that this was not a sponsored video whatsoever. I picked these products up myself, but when I did start working on this video, I reached out to the Australian distributor Pet Alliance just to get a little bit of information on the product. So I sounded a bit more uh, informative in this video. And they said, we wanna get on board. How can we help you out? So what they've actually done is they've sent me a, a combo pack here of the standard size of the veggie tabs and also some of the herbal food in a flake that I must admit I have not tried myself but if it is the same composition as the tablets that you just saw my entire fish list decimate in my tank you know they're going to be a hit as well so um these are available to give away to an australian viewer all i need you to do is say what fish you think would enjoy these the most in the youtube comment section below it is open for australian viewers only i'm sorry and for everyone outside of australia and everyone within australia who was unfortunate enough not to win the prize pack be sure to head to your local fish shop and say you saw the sarah marine grazers in action and you'd like that store to get them in so you can buy them off them there Anyway, guys, I think I'll wrap the video up there. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out on the YouTube algorithm. And if you're yet to join our 22,000 strong subscriber number, please consider doing so. It takes two seconds of your time, costs no money whatsoever. Just hit that subscribe button in the bottom corner. Other than that, guys, hope you have a great day. Till next time, stay safe, keep reefing. Cheers, bye.